Assalamu alaikum. I am Shah and you are watching Easy Engineering Tutorials. Today in this lecture we will discuss about static determinacy and indeterminacy of trust. But before moving on to the video, if you not subscribe to our YouTube channel yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. So what is determinacy and indeterminacy of structure? As you know that from the previous video that what is determinate and indeterminate structure. So determinate structure are those structure which can be analyzed, computed or find by using equation of equilibrium only then the structure is said to be determinate structure. And if a structure cannot be computed, analyzed or find by using equation of equilibrium only but extra equation is required to analyze the structure then the structure is said to be indeterminate structure. Now static determinacy and indeterminacy are planned trust. So the first one is internal indeterminacy and the second one is external indeterminacy. So internal determinacy if M plus R is equal to 2J, then the truss is said to be internally determinate truss. And if M plus R is greater than 2J, then the truss is said to be internally indeterminate truss. And if M plus R is less than 2J, then the truss is said to be internally unstable truss. यहाँ पर M से क्या मुराद होगा, R से क्या मतलब है, और J से क्या मतलब है? So M is the number of member in a trust. So M जो है, वो trust में members की तेदाद होगा. So M is the number of members where R is the number of unknown reaction forces. R जो है वो unknown reaction forces की तेदाद होगा and where J is the number of giants और J जो है वो giants की तेदाद होगा so यहाँ पर let's suppose a trust यहाँ पर M से M की कितने numbers होंगे so the number of M is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so in this trust, the number of N is, the number of member is 7, where the number of reaction forces is, let's suppose, yaha par ruler support hai, our yaha par hinge support hai, to ruler support ek unknown provide karega, isi tara ek hinge support do unknown provide karenge, तो यहाँ पर जो अनुस R की तेदाद है, वो तीन है, so R is the number of unknown reaction forces, where J is the number of giants, और इस ट्रस में giants की जो तेदाद है, वो 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, और giants की जो number है, वो है 5, so M represent the number of members, where R represents the number of unknown reaction forces and J represents the number of giants. So, so if M plus R is equal to 2J, then the truss is said to be internally determinate truss and if M plus R is greater than 2J, then the truss is said to be internally indeterminate truss. And if M plus R is less than 2J, then the truss is said to be unstable truss. Now external determinacy, if R is less than 3, then the truss is said to be externally unstable truss where R is the number of reaction forces and 3 is the number of equation of equilibrium and if R is equal to 3 then the truss is said to be externally determinate truss 
and if r is greater than 3 then the truss is said to be externally indeterminate truss now what is static indeterminacy so static indeterminacy is equal to internal indeterminacy plus external indeterminacy where internal indeterminacy is equal to m plus r minus 2j so m plus 3 minus 2j where external indeterminacy is equal to r minus 3 so let's suppose a truss indeterminacy is equal to external indeterminacy plus internal indeterminacy here external indeterminacy is equal to r minus 3 and internal indeterminacy is equal to m plus r minus 2j so external indeterminacy is equal to r minus 3 where the number of r in this case is 3 so 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 so if the number of r is equal to 3 then the truss is said to be externally de determinate truss so we can say that this truss is externally determinate truss now internal indeterminacy is equal to m plus r minus 2j where m is the number of members in a truss so the number of members in this truss is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the number of member is 7 plus r where the number of r is 3 so plus 3 minus 2j so the number of giants is 1 2 3 4 5 the number of giants is 5 so internal indeterminacy is equal to 7 plus 3 is equal to 10 minus 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to 10 so 10 minus 10 is equal to 0 so static indeterminacy is equal to external indeterminacy plus internal indeterminacy external indeterminacy is equal to 0 where internal indeterminacy is also equal to 0 so static indeterminacy for this truss is equal to 0 so we can say that this truss is externally determinate truss as well as this truss is internally determinate truss example number one let's suppose a truss our truss ka x side yaha par ruler support hai our dusre side par hinge support hai to hame is truss ka static indeterminacy find karna hai to static indeterminacy ko find karne ke liye aapko pata hai ki ek simple sa formula hai static indeterminacy is equal to external indeterminacy plus internal indeterminacy where external indeterminacy is equal to external indeterminacy is equal to r minus 3 so external indeterminacy is equal to the number of r is mene pehle bhi bataya ke let's suppose yaha par ruler support hai aur yaha par hand support hai to ek ruler support ek unknown provide karta hai our O B along Y axis. Is it a hinge support two unknowns provide karenge ek along Y direction or ek along X axis? So the number of unknown reactions is three. So the number of R is three. So three minus three is equal to zero to ye truss jo hai ye externally determinate truss hai now 
स्टेटिक एन डिटर्मिनेसी इज इक्वल टू एक्सटर्नल एन डिटर्मिनेसी प्लस इंटरनल एन डिटर्मिनेसी वी आर एक्सटर्नल एन डिटर्मिनेसी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड इंटरनल एन डिटर्मिनेसी इंटरनल एन डिटर्मिनेसी इज इक्वल टू एम प्लस आर माइनस टू जे एज आई ऑलरेडी सेट that n is the number of members so in this truss the number of members is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so the number of member is 10 so internal and determinacy is equal to m yani 10 plus r where R is the number of unknown reaction forces, and the unknown reaction forces is one, two, three. So plus R, so plus three minus two and two J, where J is the number of giants, and the number of giants is one, two, three, four, five, six. So the number of giants is six. So, so multiplied by six. So, so internal end determinacy is equal to ten plus three. So, thirteen minus two multiplied by six. So, twelve. So internal end determinacy is equal to one. So we can say that this truss is. Internally and determinate to the first degree, so static and determinacy is equal to external and determinacy plus internal and determinacy, where external and determinacy is equal to zero and plus internal and determinacy and internal and determinacy is equal to one. So static and determinacy is equal to one. So ये ट्रस्ट जो है ये फर्स्ट डिग्री का स्टेटिक एंड डिटर्मिनेट ट्रस्ट है नाउ लेट्स मूव टू एग्जांपल नंबर टू स्टेटिक एंड डिटर्मिनेसी इज इक्वल टू एक्सटर्नल एंड डिटर्मिनेसी प्लस इंटरनल एंड डिटर्मिनेसी वी आर एक्सटर्नल एंड डिटर्मिनेसी इज इक्वल टू external end determinacy is equal to r minus 3 here the number of r is let's suppose one side of the trust is hinged and other side of the trust is also hinged so hinge support provide two unknown reaction forces so two at one side of the trust and two unknown reaction forces at other end of the truss to so the number of r is 2 plus 2 so the number of r is 4 minus 3 so 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 so externally and determinacy is equal to 1 now You know that static end determinacy is equal to external end determinacy plus internal end determinacy. Here external end determinacy is equal to one. Hence internal end determinacy is equal to m plus r minus two j. So where m is the number of members, so the number of members is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So the number of members is thirteen plus R, where R is the number of unknown reaction forces, and the number of unknown reaction forces is four minus two into J. Where J is the number of giants, so so the number of giants is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the number of giants is eight. 
सो टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एट सो सेवनटीन माइनस सिक्सटीन सो इंटरनल एंड डिटर्मिनेसी इज इक्वल टू वन सो स्टेटिक एंड डिटर्मिनेसी इज इक्वल टू एक्सटर्नल एंड डिटर्मिनेसी प्लस इंटरनल एंड डिटर्मिनेसी सो स्टेटिक एंड डिटर्मिनेसी इज इक्वल टू एक्सटर्नल एंड डिटर्मिनेसी इज वन प्लस इंटरनल एंड डिटर्मिनेसी इज इक्वल टू वन सो स्टेटिक एंड डिटर्मिनेसी इज इक्वल टू टू सो वी कैन से दैट दिस ट्रस्ट इज एंड डिटर्मिनेट टू द सेकेंड डिग्री 